Hey there! We are at Princess Key, so we are on just the side of the ship and waiting to go onto the water taxi that's going to take us over to the private island. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of hang out from there. Right now they said that they're, they're waiting for clearance to start sending people over. Um, so once we get that, we'll hop on and uh, just hop over there. But yeah, we're just going to grab a seat and relax on the beach, I think. Yep, I just want to go in the ocean and relax. Um, they have food on there, so if you want me to get some food. I think they want to do some snorkeling, potentially. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. It's super windy. Yep. So, but yeah, so everything goes good. Yeah, we'll just wait for our group to get called, and then uh, we'll show you the, the ride over. So brief update, uh, we got an extra day at sea because the seas were too rough to get the water taxis over to the actual private island. So they just straight up canceled that trip. Um, it's a little disappointing. Uh, we were we were planning on just having a nice trip on the beach and we didn't get any word about what was going on for like an hour and then they just let us know, hey, yep, no, nope, we can't do it anymore. And then um, set sail. So uh, we went, grabbed some chairs by the pool. I got me a strawberry daiquiri. Melissa has her drink. She's up by the pool right now. And we're just relaxing right now and kind of figuring out from here. But we'll let you know what we end up doing. They said that they're going to add some extra stuff. I think there's extra friends trivia. Um, that's that's happening today, so maybe we'll we'll knock that out with Amanda because she's a huge Friends fan, so we'll we'll see what happens. Just let us know that since we are going to uh, Princess Key, we are actually taking a um, stop over at Freeport tomorrow. Which is also in the Bahamas, yeah. which we haven't been to. Uh, so uh, today is going to be our day at sea instead of tomorrow, and then tomorrow is just going to be another um, like land excursion type the, a place over at Freeport. We know absolutely nothing about Freeport. Yeah, no idea. I'm hoping there's a beach that we can go to. Yes, yeah, it, it's we the Bahamas. To go today. Yeah, so our, I'm assuming there's a beach somewhere. Uh, hopefully, it's you know pretty easy to get to. Um, so that's definitely going to be a big adventure. Uh, 
but in terms of what we're doing today, I have no idea now. Um, my, my guess is that all of the stuff that was slated for tomorrow is still slated for tomorrow while everyone's uh, on land. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah. We had a lot of like trivia and things like that we were going to do. Yeah, so we'll, we'll figure that out and see if they maybe like scoot some over to today or anything like that. But if they do, we're going to try and uh, learn about it and, and knock it out. But uh, most likely it's staying tomorrow. So we may get to some trivia stuff like Harry Potter and Friends. Uh, we may not because we're going to be on land, but we'll, we'll figure that out when we cross that bridge tomorrow. Uh, but for today, we relax and we're at sea and we get some sun and we already had drinks we just had food yeah that's it alright so we uh, got done with the pool we got showered got dressed and then it's trying to walk it talking I think. Uh, but we are over at the Red Frog um, to do sports trivia, which we tried to do um, earlier uh, yesterday, but no one showed up. So hopefully someone shows up for this one. Uh, but yeah, Man and Jaren are on their way over. We're gonna hopefully do some sports trivia. And then we have fancy night for dinner. Um, so we're all gonna be dressed up and, and looking all fancy and our best, so we'll show you all that after that as well. What retired basketball player tried out for the Chicago White Sox in 1994? Michael Jordan. What retired basketball player tried out for the Chicago White Sox in 1994? What's that big dude's name from Space Jam? All right, so we're at dinner. We just got our appetizer. So I got a blackened pork tart, uh, which looks really good. I'm not sure what's underneath the pork, but it looks really good. And then Melissa. I just got a spinach salad with walnuts and vinaigrette dressing. Yeah, so it looks really good and way more healthy than what I'm eating. But uh, yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to get these knocked out and let you know what the next course is going to be. All right, so the main course is here. So I got two main courses. You got spaghetti carbonara over here, and then a prime rib with some uh, bacon, sour cream, mashed potato, uh, and then Melissa. I got chicken, vegetables, and a big potato. Yeah, so she only got one entree. I'm going crazy tonight, so let's do this. So all my dessert isn't here yet, because uh -uh, here it is. Thank you. Here it is. Yep, got two desserts too. So we got a coffee cake over here, like an espresso type cake. And we got vanilla creme brulee. And then Melissa. Yeah, the same thing. Same thing. Now I got two scoops of raspberry. Yeah, two scoops of sorbet. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to eat all this too.
All right, so we just got back to the room and we have this little towel animal. We're not entirely sure what it is. It looks like a laying down pig or something. Uh, but we also got this. So we're going on an excur uh, excursion tomorrow um, to one of the beaches over in, uh, was it Freeport? Yep, Freeport. Yeah. We are heading in for the night, but just wanted to recap. Um, the last time we saw you, I think, was at dinner when we were talking about our food. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't really say what we thought about it. So what did you think of your two entrees? Uh, definitely the two best entrees that I've had so far this cruise. Uh, so I had spaghetti carbonara, uh, which I love, and it was really, really good. Uh, and then also prime rib, which is another thing that I'm like whenever it's on the menu i try to go for it just because it's like a rare thing that you see too um both of those were absolutely fantastic um so definitely the two best things that i've had uh yeah, but you yeah i just ate my normal chicken veggies and baked potato which was good i did have a salad that had like walnuts in it that was good and then the same dessert as well mm -hmm. but i always like everything so yeah and then after dinner we went and saw a show um it was uh i forget what it was called um like the heart of fire or something like that but we can actually hear it yeah the second show going on right now from our state yeah. room which is pretty impressive because we're in the midship and mm -hmm. the the show's over in like the actual forward of it of the ship um but it was really good uh, i liked it. it was a lot of uh music from the like 60s 70s and 80s just kind of mishmash together uh, a lot of dancing um, laser shows stuff like that um, but it was really cool mm -hmm. i enjoyed it yeah good music mm -hmm. and then we went over to the comedy club and saw the comedian he was really funny i enjoyed that that was our yeah. first comedy show of the cruise yeah they they said the very beginning absolutely no recording so we couldn't get yeah. any of that but it was really good uh, I like them. He, uh, and then he is also doing another show tomorrow with another comedian. They're doing mm -hmm. like a, a tag team comedy show. So we're going to try and get yeah, that one too. in the too. main auditorium and mm -hmm. not the comedy club. So it's going to be a much bigger, larger yeah. audience. Uh, and then uh, Monopoly Deal update. Jaren and, I, Jaren and I are tied with three wins apiece. Uh, so it's starting to heat up and starting to get <laughs> real intense between the two of us with this. Um, but yeah, so I think uh, we're just gonna pack it in, and then tomorrow we have our excursion and uh, just the last full day of the cruise. Yep. Yeah, but, excited for the beach. Yeah. So thank you guys again for coming along with us, and uh, we will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>